Hello and welcome to another Wobbly Camera Guy video. Have you ever wanted to put a watermark on your um, YouTube videos? A bit like they do on the television when you have like the television logo but it's just kind of like half translucent in the corner. Well in HitFilm Express there may be a particular feature that I'm not aware of but I've been playing around with it and I've kind of figured a way of doing it and I thought I'd share this with you today. So let's get started so at the moment we've got just a video clip in the timeline as you can see there just some dancing people and what I'd like to do is to put a little bit of text or logo in the corner there but make it so it's semi translucent so the way I figured out to do this is click on your video click composite shot click OK with the defaults go into text click now on the screen where you want the logo to go in this case I'm just going to simply type watermark you can then click on the little arrow and move that to where you want to within your video. Click back onto text. First of all, we want to make this grey. We don't want a white sort of watermark. So click onto text, it just highlight all the text. Come over to the bottom left hand corner, go into text. You can change the fonts if you want to. In this case, I'm just going to change this to comic if I can find it. Where's it going? There we go, comic. And we'll just call it 50 high rather than 48, just for the hell of doing it. And then what we also do then is change it from white to a gray. And as you see, when you select color, there is a gray there sort of chart here. So I'm gonna go just over or just under halfway. About there, and you can play around with this to suit. Click OK. So straight away our watermark there is already starting to get grayed out. So how do we make it translucent? Well, that new text layer that we've made, if you come across and click the little arrow, go into transform, click opacity, and then just come across and reduce the opacity down just by left clicking your mouse and just dragging it. And we'll call it 50% in this case. And you'll see now that our watermark there is semi translucent. So when we play the video, it's much, much less intrusive. So that's one way of doing it. You might also have a logo that you'd like to sort of put on your um, video as well. And that logo might be in color. And again, you want to do something whereby it turns out to be like black and white and grayed out uh, and semi-translucent. Well, the way I found out to do this is like this. So if I just import the logo, so I'm just going to import my Wobbly Camera Guy logo. If you then come across, we need to put this into the timeline. And what I tend to do is just reduce these down, drag it across. So now that's our Wobbly Camera Guy um, logo. As you can see, it's huge. So first I'm going to, thing I'm going to do, oops, is to reduce it in size, it says. Let's get it down to something like that. Then move it across. And I'll actually put it just how where that guy's hand is, just so you can see the translucency. So the first thing we need to do is make this black and white. Well, the way I figured out to do it is if you click on it, come across, come on to effects, more the way down to presets, come down to film looks, and within film looks you've got black and white. Simply click that, drag it across to the logo timeline, and as you can see now, that has now gone grayed out, so it's black and white, so that's the first step. Second step, we need to make it translucent, so click on it again, come across into transform, click our opacity as we did with the text before, reduce that down to say, I'll make it 50%, something like that. So when we play it, there you go, we've got it. Now if you wanted that from the start, just simply grab your little time cursor. So if I take it to the start, there we go. And that's a simple thing to do. That's just something a little bit different to your videos to make it stand out from everybody else. So thought you'd much share that with you. Hope you liked it. Um, really appreciate you guys stopping by. If you'd like to see some more videos on HitFilm Express, um, pop across to my channel. There's a few on there that I've been uh, adding as I'm going along, as I've been learning. If you like the video, then please give me a thumbs up. And uh, as always, I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch up with you soon.